Well, there she is, the lady of the hour. Good morning, Debbie. Along with the other lady of the hour, how are you? <laughs> oh, good. You know, <laughs> we are all just working our little tails off. <laughs> awesome, awesome. On a beautiful day here. What about there? Oh, finally, it's a beautiful day. Oh, my oh. gosh. We have had blizzards and snow oh. and all oh, kinds really? of craziness going on here. I yeah. drove home we were in South Dakota for the weekend and I flew there and my husband drove and then we drove back together. It took us two hours to get the last 45, 50 miles because it was such a blizzard outside. Wow, what a crazy world. It is so crazy. <laughs> well, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Val. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning, Mary Beth. Good to have all of you. We're glad you're here. I don't see my partner in crime, but uh, <laughs> my um, I'm talking about Anthony, you know. I knew exactly who you're talking about. <laughs> That's okay, I think. I'm gonna just check to see <laughs> if we are on Facebook Live here we, real quick. It says you're live on Facebook, Robin. Does it? Yep. Awesome. Yep. See, it, it takes sure a bullet. It's all good. Awesome. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, let's just go ahead and get started then. Why not, huh? It's a beautiful day to get started and to hear what we have this morning. This morning. Gosh. Um, I was, I've been up late at night. You know how it is, everybody, when you're so excited about what we have to offer. And, you know, there's a lot of things going on in the world. But one thing that I can say is that we have a stable business that's growing that and again growing now? and growing. And so um, I am going to actually just move the lines here just one minute, everyone. So Debbie, you might have to unmute yourself when we come on. Perfect. All right. Hopefully I didn't mute myself. <laughs> Everybody give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Awesome sauce. Okay. Well, it is Thursday morning. This is my day, my morning to meet with all of you beautiful people and your guests. And some of you might be live on Facebook. And so we just want to welcome you. We want to welcome you to listen in on our new age experience and what we have to, to share with you. We really just want to share with you. You know, we don't force anybody to do anything they don't want to do. We don't try and manipulate or anything. We show people what a wonderful, amazing business and what amazing products we have so that you can live a better life. And that might be in your health, that might be in your finances, it might be in both, and it might also be in your community of people. Because you, as you all know from people from around the world, you know that this last year has been difficult on so many levels. And, you know, without a community of people around you, we can feel isolated, we can feel like we're alone, and I have not felt that like every day we've been able to connect with people in our community and guests and it's absolutely been wonderful. And so somebody asked me the other day, you know, what do I do? And really my answer was I'm a problem solver. I love being a problem solver because if someone has a problem, and you know, if you talk to somebody long enough, they will tell you their problem. They will tell you what's going on in their life. If you just simply say, how are you to some people, they will tell you far more than you want to hear. <laughs> and so if someone says that they have you know, uh, maybe their husband lost their job and they need some more finances, I can solve that problem. I can help them with that problem. How about if somebody has uh, some sickness going on, which we've had a lot of this last year, right? And a lot of people are stuck in their houses and sick, or they go out and they're sick. And I, have, I can solve that problem. We can solve that problem. Or if someone says, you know, I feel like I just 
really don't have a lot of friends in my life. I can solve that problem. So what, what is your need? And what is it that you want to help other people with? That would be my question to you today, is how can you help someone else? Because if we just focus on ourselves, then it's really kind of a lonely world. If I'm just looking at myself all the time and I don't ever look outside to see what are the needs of other people? For me, that's a very fulfilling thing is to find out how I can serve someone else. And so I am really, really excited, especially today because, you know, one of the women that I met a couple of years ago, the first time I heard this incredible woman was when I was invited with five other leaders to attend a, an event in Salt Lake City. And that was in September of, uh, I believe it was 2019. And we were invited with our company, Limu, to go and to uh, meet some of the leaders and some of the executives with our new company that we were merging with. And I heard this woman on stage and I thought, wow, I wanna be like her. I want to be able to, to inspire other people like she did. She and her amazing husband, I'm gonna share my screen here. Uh, her, she and her amazing husband, Ken, were on stage and they were sharing as one of the number one income earners in the entire company. They were inspiring other people. And oh my gosh, Debbie was a beautiful bombshell that just came out on the stage like, like a firecracker. And I was like, oh, I like her. And then a few months later, I was invited to come to Canada and speak with them in their, uh, their event in Vernon, British Columbia. I'd never been, a beautiful little town. And Debbie and I connected. And we connected on a deeper level than me just watching her from afar. And we became friends as, as well as with many of you other leaders here on this call. And so Debbie is a new age chairperson too. She uh, has been a rock star all the way from the beginning of when she started in this incredible company. And she's going to share with you about vision and about how you can change your life. And so Debbie, are you there? Oh, Robin, my honor to be with you. Yeah, you're a sister like uh, I didn't have before. And, and I just so resonate with your energy, you what you want to do in the world. And I'm just so happy to be here. Oh, I'm so happy you're here. Thank you so much. Well, will you just share, first of all, would you share your story? And also just share your what you believe uh, well, what we talked about, were you sharing today? And um, I think that people are going to be inspired. And why now is a great time to get started with this amazing business? Well, thank you. I, I would love to. You know, I'm, I'm an introvert. I'm not like Robin, right? But I knew <laughs> as I went through my life, I had to stop being so shy. If I wanted to really be a problem solver and make a difference in the world, which I always have wanted, I knew I had to change and that's so important. And change is something I strive for all the time now, instead of run from, from where so many people go change. Oh my God, I love change. And I actually need change now. And I, I, I look for it and I'm excited by it and I'm 62. So I should be one of those people going, no, I'm good where I am. Thank <laughs> you very much. But that's what keeps us young. Right. And so, you know, we all have a story and, and I can't wait to hear all of your stories all over the world because it, it's what jives me up. It get, it's what really cranks me up. And I don't think all of you have heard this story. Some of you have, it's a very vulnerable one, but you know, when I was younger and, and about 16 or 17, and I can't remember the exact age, but I started to have really bad acne and um, boy, does that ever take a, a toll on your confidence, right? Yeah. You know, you're trying to fit in and be normal at that yeah. age. You're trying to be the cool one and even just not stick out sometimes. I didn't want to stick out. I just wanted to blend in so no one would stare at me, right? And so you're dealing with acne. And so then you learn how to 
try to hide it and you try to hide yourself already at 16, yeah. 17, uh-huh. 18. And so I, um, I wanted to do a lot with my, my life. My mom and dad had always taught me, you know, I was the kid running around going, I'm going to be a fireman. And then the next week, I'm going to be a nurse. And then the next week, what are you going to be, Deb? And, and they never stopped me. I'm going to be a vet. I'm going to be a social worker. I'm going to be a professional athlete. I'm going to do this. And so I love that they always just encouraged me to, if it was every day, it didn't matter. But this darn acne really played a part. And even when I played sports, I'd play soccer, I'd run off the field at halftime, run to whatever I could make sure nothing was showing, right? That I was okay, that the sweat hadn't taken my makeup off. And so I worked with doctors and all sorts of things all my life to try to change that. But, you know, unfortunately they write a prescription and the prescription was things like antibiotics and antibiotics that first tetracycline and then they get stronger and then you know what happens when you're on antibiotics long and then they got to give you something for that and then they said oh we got something amazing we've got a product called Accutane so I'm in the corporate world I'm working myself up Um, even to the point of this is so long ago in the 80s and 90s you couldn't tell the management team or the CEO that you were trying to have a family because you wouldn't get promoted as a woman, right? Um, right. I don't care what anybody says, it really made a difference. So I wanted a family, it was my, one of my biggest dreams. And then they put me on Accutane, the doctor, and I did it. And you know, I had to get my liver tested every single week. Mm. And I did it twice and you peel like a snake. You see oh. your lips peel like a snake. It's quite a painful experience and it would help for a little bit and then full on. And I know God gave me acne for a reason. He wanted to teach me how to vision in life and be stronger. And, you know, we don't understand at the time, but it it really was a journey. And then I couldn't carry a child because of this product and what I've been through. So 13 miscarriages through a 11 year period of working in the corporate world where they didn't even know I was trying to have a family. So trying to hide that also so I went through so much of my life trying to hide acne and that I was trying to have a family that was my biggest dream it wasn't my career right and you know and through that you learn all these life lessons about visioning and and what what your life needs to look like and and you know Mm. it actually was four really close people to us Robin that passed away in a two-year period that really brought it all together. This is probably about 15 years ago. One was 27 in an accident and way too young to die. And one was 52. Uh, Ken's brother died of cancer and one was 61. And the year after he retired, Ken's dad passed away and one was 65. And we were always at funerals. And it's got to the point when we saw our family, it wasn't a joyous occasion because and we still feel that it's really funny because it was always funerals. And mm-hmm. so you know, you start to go, what can I take out of this? What is my life lesson as we go through this? Mm-hmm. And it's to never stop wanting to be better and not have regrets. Mm-hmm. And every single one of those people in our lives that passed away had regrets. Mm-hmm. So why was I crying over my acne? And why was I crying over the things that had happened? Why me in life? I wasn't actually, I, I never have been. But these things that happen in your life lead you to where you need to go and the person, and I think I'm a late bloomer. I think it seemed to, for me to take a lot longer to learn these lessons that keep visioning, keep being that, that person that can change people's lives. What does it look like? Mm. And the whole thing is to me, what is my purpose? You know, think about the thing you love the most and what if it's taken away? So we couldn't have children. So what was the lesson from that? What's my purpose? How can I make a difference in the world? Right? Mm -hmm. So this business came along. And this business came and took all of that and has allowed me to be a more visionary, to be how to live with more purpose and fulfillment, Mm -hmm. and to feel like I make a difference. Mm -hmm. And to be a problem solver. Robin, 
We are natural problem solvers. Yes. And there's nothing better than the feeling of I can help people. And Robin, that's all we do. We listen. We listen to Betsy. We listen to Michelle. We listen to Valerie and we go, what can I do? How can I be a servant leader and help them? Maybe they need a real estate. Maybe they need to know a real estate um, person. Maybe they need to know um, the best restaurant in town. But maybe they need a solution that I have. Mm -hmm. And so I sure did. I needed every solution that yeah. New Age has brought me. The products, check, check, check. Oh my God. Oh my God, my skin. Oh. It changed my skin. And I love the skin I'm in. For the first time in my life, at 51, it took me to find this product mm. that changed my life. Mm. It wasn't by mistake. Nothing happens by mistake. And fulfillment that I get to help other people lift them up, it's my jam. It's what I like to do. Yeah. I like to see people find their purpose and find fulfillment in life. And I, you know, so many people live empty lives, Robin. Yeah. that that's what I like to share is you get to be you here, but there's a big security around you because mm -hmm. there's so many people that are like-minded that feel the same yeah. and are going through this journey that we all lift each other up. So the second I met you, I thought, wow, this woman lifts me up. This, this woman lifts me up because sometimes I feel that I got a lot of weight on my shoulders. Mm. Me, it's just me saying that. I have a lot of weight on my shoulders. I've got a lot of responsibility. I've told people I'm here and I'll help find your dreams, your goals, your fulfillment, your purpose. And then I meet people like you. Mm. And you lift me up, allowing me to go, I, I need to do this till I'm 95, mm. till I'm 100. This is not a job. This is not work. Mm. This is fulfillment of servant leadership that I love. Mm -hmm. And along the way, it's a personal growth business attached to the most amazing products that I've ever experienced in my life and every single one of them, right? Yeah. Yes. And I get to be on this journey and I'm just grateful. I'm just grateful that someone reached out to me 11 years ago and I'll never ever forget that it was just that phone call. And what if I'd been closed? What if I'd been closed? Mm, so yeah. it's changed my life. It took me on the path that I was meant to be. And I'm so forever grateful, Robin. So isn't life interesting? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so can I ask you a few questions, Deb? Oh, sure. So that, first of all, that story, I don't think I've ever heard you say that story before. These are, t these are hard things, you know, these are difficult things to share vulnerably like that. And, you know, I'm glad that you shared it because it actually has touched me. I, I have like goosebumps all over my body um, because I have a niece who, you know, she's, I think, uh, 30, around 30. And when she was young, she had horrid acne. I mean... And she's a beautiful girl, beautiful girl, horrible, horrible acne. And her parents put her on Accutane. And same thing, I watched her, you know, and of course I'm not the parent, right? It's my sister's child, I'm not the parent. So I can't really, I can give my opinion, but um, I watched her suffer through that. And there's been some things in our family, you know, we all have family stuff, right? We all have, you know, painful things in our family. And just recently, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I saw her and um, I see her on, you know, in, uh, Instagram or whatever, but you know, there's all the filters. You can't really see somebody. And when I saw her in person, I saw the scarring on her face. And she has tried a lot of ways to fulfill herself in many other very superficial ways, you know, with looks and all that. And she's such a beautiful girl, but her skin was really bad. And I thought, you know, I have a, I have an, a product that can help her skin to recover from some of that scarring. And um, 
I cannot morally hold my product and not reach out. And another thing, you know, my brother came um, a couple of weeks ago. He, well, I should say a couple of months ago from Phoenix, he came to visit and he, I said, so how you doing? You know, he's older than I am and he is very overweight. And he said, well, you know, I got back from the doctor and the doctor told me that I am 1% away from being morbidly obese. And I said, oh my gosh. I said, that's terrible. Of course, you know, he lives a lifestyle like that. And so I said, well, I cannot morally stand by and let you go down that road without me offering a solution to the problem that you have. Now, that doesn't mean you're going to accept that problem or you're going to take that problem, right? So all of you who are listening, you have a solution. Those people may not take your solution. They may not. And that's not about you. But your job, your responsibility is that you have something in your hand to give to somebody. And so my brother and his beautiful wife, she needed to lose some weight too. I got them on a Zoom when they got home. They got the products ordered right away. And they've already lost in a six weeks time, 16 pounds each. They're both extremely joyful and happy that this has happened, that they're so grateful. And my sister-in-law said to me, my, my brother, he, she said, your brother has seen you in a different light. <clears throat> She's out, my sister-in-law is already, you know, going gangbusters at the business. He's not, he's not interested in the business. He has a great job, um, but he, you know, it's not his type, his style anyway. So I cannot even tell you what fulfillment that has brought to me that I could possibly have been a catalyst to saving his life. Like, isn't that something? And so I'm so grateful. And so I want to ask you a question, Deb. That took a long way to get to the question. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful though. But um, when you were offered this amazing business, so where were you in your life in, in business? Where were you, like, did you need a job? Did you need something to help you earn income? Where were you there? I needed it like oxygen, but I didn't even know that, right? Yeah. I had, I was working in the corporate world. I was working 65 hours a week. I was on that treadmill. I had a very successful career, but I'm very intuitive. And I knew that even 11 years ago, that middle management position was, was not always going to be there. I yeah. knew that if I don't change, the future won't change. And I can tell you in 25 years, by the end of this year, every one of those careers I had will be gone. Yeah. Everyone. And I kind of knew that years ago. I thought, yeah, well, the people that make the money are going to be the ones that are gone. Even though I do, I run the whole company in North America. And so I just, I was open and I was always just glancing. And even if you just have one entrepreneurial bone in your body, and I do, and it's like, I get excited about, oh my goodness, something <laughs> new. Yes. You know, and, and the gal that called me, she didn't know. She actually did the takeaway. You're way too busy. You're way too successful. <laughs> you make way too money, much money. This is not for you. Oh my. Right? Yeah. And I'm like, wait, wait, because you don't know. You don't know what's happening in someone's heart. You don't know what's happening in their life. I needed new. I needed to do something important. I needed to really have an experience. I was 51 mm -hmm. and all of you may be have gone through this or are way too young, but you kind of look at your life and go, oh my gosh, half of it's over if yeah. I'm lucky. Yeah. And what the heck did I achieve? You know, <laughs> great. I got a good paycheck coming in, but yeah. did I achieve any of those things that I wanted when I was 20? Yeah. And at 20, I had such big dreams about being a difference in the world. What did that look like? Having charities. Um, my, my jam is really animals. I love to save animals. And I love teaching young people about leadership. And so I still 
62. I have some big dreams of having some education for kids. Yes. Leadership. Mm, and what, so, you know, just, we're not done. That's right. We got a lot to do, Robin, and we need more people. Susie is the new 40. Exactly, babe. (laughs) And we got the products, right? We've got the products that, you know, I feel in my 30s sometimes, and I can run around some other 60-year-olds that don't have our products. Exactly. But I want to show them. Yeah. I want to show them what their potential is because we're given this amazing life. What are we doing with it, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So you, t- you took her up on her offer and, oh, probably, and probably, she, had a, probably had a little war inside of yourself. Like what the heck am I doing? Always. You'll always have a little war in yourself unless you step up and tell that little voice to go away. Yeah. Let that doubt go away. You don't, you don't own me. I own you and you're not going to be my destiny. Mm-hmm. I am going to do this and so yes and she she was very interesting she said call me by seven in the morning or you're not serious oh and i'm like i'm flying down to uh nevada tomorrow for my company working and she goes i don't care Ah. do you want to take this seriously i am and it it excited me because i thought i'm joining a leader that won't quit yes nobody wants to join a leader that quits Right. They quit on you. Yes. So that's always been my lesson, right? Mm. Don't quit. So true. Keep going. Yes. Yes, that's so true. And so did you make a little money? Made a little money. Not overnight. You know, I can remember the first conference going to and thinking, wow, I'm not good at this. That's really Mm. bad. Someone else just went ahead and hit some major ranks and I'm just not good at this, but I'm working so hard. Well, it doesn't happen in two months. It doesn't happen in three months. And, you know, in two years, you, personal growth, you develop. So, yeah, you know, you, you got to understand the end result. If you're an entrepreneur, you don't open a business and make millions in the first year. Right. If you do, you got to go back and rebuild your foundation. So yes. I knew that it was a process. And funny thing is, Robin, I think I put it out there three months into this journey, my paycheck bounced in my corporation. It bounced oh. so hard that there was no paychecks for me. Wow. No severance package. And in Canada, what happens is you get an unemployment check. I sent it back to the government. Oh. So how many months can you go with no money coming in and you're the only one responsible? Mm. So, you know, didn't happen overnight. I had a growth. I had a growth. But it's been the most amazing, mind-blowing experience that I ever could have imagined. Yes. Oh my gosh. I love that. And you now have a very international business, a global embassy, a global empire that, so how many countries or continents are you working in right now? I'm personally in 14 countries and I'm building strong in five. Wow. And, um, Thank goodness for Zoom, because before it used to be Skype, and my Mexicans used to say Skype, because they couldn't (laughs) say Skype, and I don't speak Spanish, so to build in an international company, country where you don't speak the language, it's been so interesting for an introvert Um, that wanted to really change lives, so I love what I do. Oh, I love that too, and you're very good at it. Aww. You're very good at it. I love love listening to you. I love watching you. I've seen you in action. I've seen you presenting to the masses. I've seen you presenting on a smaller level. And wow. And so I just am so grateful that you uh, that you came and you shared your story here. And there's probably a few people out here wondering about some facts. And so I am going to share a little bit of detail and some facts. And Debbie, I know you're very busy. If you need to leave, please go ahead and do that. Um, but I would not miss this at all, Robin. Um, I'm here. And I'm looking behind you and seeing all of those amazing awards that you've won. Wow. Isn't that an honor? Aren't you grateful? It seems like, you know, when you win those awards, it's, it's very humbling because, you know, we are always our worst critic, aren't we? And uh, I just want to, you know, give you some accolades there you are 
one of the very best in the whole world. And I'm so grateful that we have been able to connect. And I hope that all of you, when our countries open up, when the borders open up, and it will do that, it will open up. They cannot keep us, you know, but when the borders open up, I hope that you will all um, make it a point to go out and meet Deb because you will want to know this fabulous woman. And she will, she will say nothing but good things about our company because that's the truth. She won't lie to you. And she will never quit. She won't quit. And neither will I. I mean, you know, you just cannot give up. So thank you for sharing your beautiful story, Deb. And I'm going to go ahead and share my screen again and just give you guys some, a few uh, facts. I'm not going to go into massive detail here, but I do want to share. And so you all have some um, clue as to what we're doing and who we are. So New Age is a, a wonderful company. We have a corporate office here in Denver, Colorado. I love that. And we are an omni-channel uh, omni sales and distribution network or com company with access to multiple channels and a network of independent business owners around the world. Now, I've never been involved with a um, international company and it excites me so much because that is one of my goals. You know, several years ago, I watched, you know, you know they have those big um, icon theaters where the screen is, you know, so huge, you can't even hardly see the end of it. And I watched the movie Australia. And, you know, they do a pan vision of the entire land. And I came home and I said to my husband, I want to see the world. I want to see the whole world. And you know what? This new age business for me is a vehicle for me to see the world. And I'm very excited about that. We have penetration in over 75 markets. And you know, if you look at this little map here, it'll show you where we're stronger in some nations and some countries than we are in others. But look at, we have such an opportunity to share. You know, have you heard the old story where the shoemaker goes to Africa and he says, oh my gosh, nobody wears shoes. I'm not gonna get any kind of business here. And then the other shoemaker went a bit to Africa and said, oh my gosh, nobody has shoes. I'm going to make a fortune. It's all about what you're, what you're looking at. What is your view? What is your perspective? Sometimes we need to change our perspective. So here we are, and, and I'm in this little, you know, tiny Colorado Springs, Colorado in the United States, but look at the vastness of the world we have and what we have to offer everybody. Um, we have an amazing global opportunity and we were just named number 29 in the direct selling news in, uh, in all of the world for direct selling companies. Isn't that awesome? That is, a, that is such an achievement. And we do have the world's number one compensation plan in our industry. I love that. I've been in this industry quite a while. We are a global house of brands. This is something that's so amazing to me because when Deb started, she started with one little product and she built an empire. And when I started, I started with one little product line that only had four products. And we built a pretty strong organization ourselves, but we didn't have the option to go worldwide. And now we have that option with all of our brands in all of these different countries. I think it's just amazing. So you're going to learn about a few of these. Um, we help you monetize your influence on social media. I love that. We, will, we can teach you that personally. And um, I love that we have lifestyle perks. You probably didn't know that. But you know, if you go to a store, typically they'll say, are you part of our rewards program? And they give you little perks, little bonuses. You know, you might buy 10 cups of coffee and get one coffee for free. Or you might buy, you know, get 10 punches on your card and you get a discount on your next purchase. Well, the same thing happens here. So dollar for dollar, whatever you spend in your own business, in your own products, you get 
lifestyle perks. And you can use this for loyalty shopping to buy, to buy some of the products for a lesser uh, price. You can buy diamonds. I got a new diamond ring the last time I was at one of our, um, our events and I was able to use my lifestyle perks. You can use it for travel. I just used our travel perks um, when I was in South Dakota. I saved $100 a night on my hotel in downtown Sioux Falls because I have travel perks. I love that. And here's our house of brands. We have brands from all different, um, all different industries, health and wellness, health and beauty, um, clean air, clean water. We, we have essential oils, all amazing different kinds of products. I have absolutely love this because if someone says, well, you know, I, I have my own supplement line that I absolutely love, then I say, great. I have something else for you. So we have a lot to offer people. And that skincare line that Deb started with is now an am most amazing, even better skincare line, Lucem, which is one of our newest babies. And what an incredible skincare line that is. Have you ever heard of skin technology? That is something that I had never heard of, but I have seen it work. I've seen it work in such incredible ways on my own skin because I have acne scars as well. And so using these products have really helped build my confidence. But we have Nutrify, uh, which is our supplemental line. It's inner nutrition, inner beauty. I love that. I'm gonna share a little bit about some of these product lines, but who doesn't use things like shampoo and body wash. And I hope you're brushing your teeth because we have the most amazing uh, toothpaste. I love our toothpaste, it's fluoride free. And you know, I'm just taking the money that I've already been spending and I'm redirecting it into my own home-based business. And with that, I'm getting better products, better health, I'm feeling so much better. I'm, I'm looking better. You know, I just had my birthday and I've been with this company now since I was uh, 51 and almost 51. And so it's been such an incredible journey. I do want to say that all products are not created equally. And I know this for a fact, because if you go to the health food store, you don't know what you're getting. You know, those people that work there, they cannot possibly know what all the products are on their, on their shelves and what they do and what their benefits are. And most of those products are not going to be exactly what they say they are on the bottle. And so we have some people that are involved in our company that are going to assure us that what we have, what our bottle says is what we have. So Deanna Latson is our chief product officer. She's an amazing woman. And she is featured in over, uh, has been featured in over 800 universities around the world. Dr. Ray Strand, I love him. Actually, I met Dr. Ray Strand when I was with Deb in Canada. What an amazing doctor. He is very knowledgeable. He has a clinic in South Dakota and written several books. We also have Dr. Ginger Decker. She's a uh, uh, woman who has spoken all over the country um, about health and nutrition. She's a functional medicine doctor. She's also a chiropractor. And we do have the RX seal of approval. This is very important to me because, because we have rigid testing on all of our products so that you can be assured that you're getting the finest quality products in whatever product you find with our company. MOA is one of my favorites. I love this because it's a very easy little super nutrient pack. It's liquid in a little pouch, but it, it's power packed with 36 superfoods and liquid nutrition. Now, I thought when I first thought, how could we get 36 little, you know, how, how can we get 36 superfoods in one little pack? Well, they did it. I don't know how they did it, but it certainly is a, a product that works. I've noticed huge difference in inflammation. And look at this gal here. She has lost. Look at the look at the picture on the left. This is evidence of losing inflammation out of the body. And you know that inflammation is the basis of all disease. 
Uh, MOA is wonderful for athletic performance. We have a lot of super athletes like football players. We have a whole football team down there in the uh, southern part of the United States that's using MOA. Incredible. Here's the, my other favorite. The skinny drops is their tagline. Uh, twice, you can drop twice the weight as just diet alone. We don't like to say diet. It has the word die in it. And we like to live it. And Slender Eyes helps you to live it. It's clinically proven, doctor recommended. It's hormone balancing. And that doesn't mean your female or male hormones. That's not, we're not talking estrogen and testosterone. We're talking about the stressor hormones that cause your body to gain weight and to retain weight. So it's safe and effective. It's hormone free, stimulant free. And it is a homeopathic remedy. So you just drop it under your tongue, you hold it for a little bit, and then you know you eat your meal. And it does help curb your cravings. I love that because you know I'm a nighttime eater. Anybody out there a nighttime eater? And I love ice cream. And unfortunately, ice cream isn't so good for me. So I have to have some extra help. And these drops have helped me immensely. Look at uh, Richard Tuggle here. He's a businessman from the South. He's closed six businesses recently because he has been doing so well in our company as a business owner. But look at his weight. Do you think that changed his life? Losing 100 pounds in six months? I'll bet you he feels a lot better. I bet you he's not the same guy he was before he started trying to lose weight, right? What about Dr. Crystal Vance? She's part of our RX Wellness Council. She's lost 160 pounds over the years. And look at her. Can you bet she feels better? If you look in her eyes in these pictures, folks, I'm telling you, I've known this woman for 20 years. And she is not the same woman she was at this picture on the left. It's been incredible. And now she has a thriving business. She was able to retire her chiropractic business and work this, this company full-time, New Age full-time. Here's a couple of pictures of me. These are very difficult to show. Ah, February in 2020, I was sucking my belly in there for the picture. And I didn't even realize that I looked like that. But you know, you get a little lazy with your diet. You get a little lazy with your alcohol. I can even see the inflammation in my feet down here. And so I started to get serious about my product and I became a product of my product. And look at in just a few months time, I was able to lose a lot of inflammation and a little bit of weight. And I feel so much better. You can even see it here in my face, the inflammation that was reduced. So some of the things that helped me were these skinny drops. That was the MOA, uh, the Limu products, the Rejuvenix. This one is awesome too. You guys, this is a staple product for me. It's like, it's like energy in a capsule but it's healthy energy. And it also has brain food. If you've had brain fog or you can't have, you have short-term memory loss, sometimes you need a little help because our body doesn't get the proper nutrients that we need. And so when you add L-theanine and a super fruit complex of acai berry, mangosteen, a lot of these amazing super fruits are just packed into this little capsule and it really does make a difference. So how do you get started? You can become a wholesale business account holder, which is very simple. You pay a one-time fee, a member fee of $24.95. Then you buy your products at wholesale prices. Now, you can choose whatever you want for yourself. You're not storing up products in your garage or your basement or your bedroom. You're, you're using products that you're already spending money on. Maybe you're buying your protein powder from Amazon or from the GNC or from another company. Why not take that money and redirect it, put it into your own home-based business, and then you can, uh, you can actually purchase from your own business, but you're getting much better product. You can share the results with others like Debbie did, like I did, and you can still build, you can build a business on the side because what if you're like Deb and what if one day your paycheck doesn't clear? from your corporation, from the company that you work for. Because that happens a lot, uh, unfortunately, especially nowadays with all the pandemic going on. 
how about if you have a side business going on here that you're building and then eventually if you chose you would have the opportunity to work your business full time and not have to worry about who's paying your bills because you can do that another way is you can do you can become a, a preferred customer so how do you do that it's very simple you just get a free account you buy products at discounted prices. You have access to lifestyle perks, all of those incredible benefits just by being a, whole, a preferred customer. Sorry, I lost my train of thought for a second there. So I'm not gonna go into a lot of other detail right now, but I do wanna say this. The richest people in the world look for and build networks and everyone else looks for work. So if you are needing a little extra income in your family, or you're needing a health benefit, or you're needing something else, look right here. Look for networks, because that's what we do, isn't it? We go out and we share everything we love, even simple things, you know, it might be a pair of shoes, it might be our favorite, you know, box of Kleenex because it has lotion in it, or it might be anything. We tell our friends about the things we love. So why not make a little income on that on the side? Or if you have big vision and you have big dreams like Debbie and I, then you can actually build a, an empire all around the world. And it's not a one time, it's not a simple thing, you know, you're going to do it in a month. It is, becomes a lifestyle. You begin to share with people. You begin to perk your ears up just a little bit. You know, you'll be in the grocery store and you might hear the person behind you is telling you about something going on in their life. Well, you don't have to spill your guts right there, but you can, you have something to offer them and you can just say something simple. You know, I might have something to help you and exchange your phone numbers and then reach out to them because we are in the problem solving business. And so I would just implore you to think about it. If you're a guest here, think about why you were invited here. What is a problem you might have that we could have a solution for? And thank the person that invited you because they thought enough of you to reach out to you and say, hey, this might be something for you. And it might be not. It might not be for you, but it could be for one of your friends. It could be for one of your family members. You could be a referral partner. And so I just want to say thank you so much for joining. I'm going to just end our conversation today because we've gone a little long, but I loved being with you. I loved hearing Deb's story. And please do share the recording when you get a minute and you have somebody that this might help, okay? So thanks everybody for joining. I'm gonna unmute all the lines. I think I can do that here. And, or you can unmute yourself actually. So thanks everybody for joining us and you guys have an awesome, incredible day. We'll see Thank you, you Robin. Thank you. Rock star Robin, dynamic Debbie. That was phenomenal. Thank awesome. you. Thank Thanks you, everybody Robin. for Thank you, Debbie. Awesome. This was absolutely wonderful. Thanks, Thank everyone. you. Love you guys. Bye, Robin. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Deb. Thanks, Robin. All right, everybody.